Lakini kuna watumishi ambao wameshindwa kusimama sawa sawa na wito wao walioitiwa na Mungu. But there are some servants that are not, they are not standing according to their calling. Watumishi wa namna hiyo hiyo ni grupu lingine. Uh, those kind of servants this is another group. Wamekuwa ni waongo na ni wazinzi. They are lying and they are, they are sinners. Hakuna kitu Mungu anachukia kama uongo na uzinzi maana vyote ni mali ya shetani. There is nothing that God hates the most than lying and doing adultery because all of that comes from the devil. Wengine wametembea na wake za watu. Some of them they slept with some uh, wife of other people. Wamefanya dhambi unatembea na wake za watu na wao ni wanajiita ni watumishi. Wameacha njia ya Mungu, wamekuwa waongo, wamekuwa wazinzi, wana haraa wake za watu, wametembea na wake za watu kwa muda mrefu na wengine wamefarakanisha ndoa kabisa, ndoa zikafa lakini wao kaona tembea nao. Hiyo ni laana mbaya. Ole wako usingezaliwa. I luck to the pastors that uh, used to sleep with the wives of our church members and some of them they even bring a conflict between the marriage and break the marriage apart they'll be lying they'll be sinning and they still call themselves uh, servants of God Wengine ndani ya makanisa yao wameandama kwaya wakiona wana kwaya wana wandama wanatembea nao na wana kwaya nao kwa wana kwaya wanakuta wanaanguka kwenye dhambi wana huku wanaimba wanamtumikia Mungu hiyo ni ole mbaya sana ni chukizo mbele za Mungu This is an, uh, detestable to God and it's an, a very uh, huge warning to the pastors that have been uh, also using the uh, choir members sleeping with them they made them fall to the sin and they still serving God this is a very uh, bad warning from God Watumishi wanavunja ndoa za watu. Pastors they break uh, some people's marriages. Na bado wanajiita ni watumishi wa Mungu. And they still call themselves uh, servants of God. Mungu anaambia ni chukizo baya sana. God says this is a very bad testimony in his eyes. Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Bwana anaambia hiyo ni ole. God says that is an warning. Kuna grupu lingine. There is another group. Ambalo la watumishi. That is also for servants. Wengine wanakunywa pombe. Some of them they drink alcohol. Lakini wanajificha. But they hide themselves. Na ni wachungaji. And they are pastors. Tena wanakunywa pombe ile kali. Then they drink the very uh, uh, strong alcohol. Hawataki watu wajue. And they don't want people to know. Wanajificha. They hide themselves. Mungu anaambia waulize mimi niliyowaita ilikuwa siwaoni. God is asking he telling the man of God to ask you do you think that God who called you doesn't see that Mungu anaona au hawaoni Does God sees or not Jambo hilo ni baya That is very bad Na ndani yao wanapenda uchungaji And inside them they want to be pastors Kiu ya pombe haijawatoka The thirst of drinking you have no leave them Wanapenda uchungaji. They want to be pastors. Tabia ya uzinzi haijawatoka. The uh, behavior of adultery have not left them. Hawajafa ndani yao. They have not died in them. Wanapenda uchungaji lakini bibudi vimewatesa. They want to be pastors but they are being arrogant. Wanataka waonekane ni watumishi lakini ni wazinzi, walevi, waongo. They want to be seen as pastors but they lie, they do adultery and they sin. Akiomuona mwanamke mbele yake anashindwa kustahimili. Once he see a woman ahead of him he can't tolerate it. Hiyo ni roho kamili ya kuzimu. That is a spirit completed from hell. Mungu amekuitia roho za watu alafu leo unamuona mwanamke ama mwanaume ukimwangalia namna hii unashindwa kustahimili unataka uzinzi. God called you for the souls of people but once you see women you can't handle yourself you can't keep it on yourself you want to uh, to sin. Ni kitu kibaya bora usingeitwa. It's a very bad it's better if you wouldn't have been called. Kibaya ni bora usingemjua Kristo. It's a very bad it's better if you wouldn't have known Jesus Christ. Mungu atusaidie. May God help us. Hawataki kuacha haya matabia. They don't want to leave their behaviors. Kwa nini kwa sababu uchungaji una heshima? Why? Because you're a pastor, you're an honorable person. Unajua uchungaji Mungu aliwekea utisho wa heshima. You know pastors were the ones anointed by uh, respect. Unaweza kumuita hata mke wa mtu katikati ya watu, kaambia njoo nina maongezi nawe baadaye, lakini mtu asipate shida kwa sababu anaitwa na pasta. Ni sawa si sawa? You may even call a woman in the middle of people and say come I'm going to talk to you later. People won't understand otherwise because you're anointed. Kumbe ame yeye ana mambo yake. But maybe you have your own issues. Unakwenda kuharibu watu wa watu. You're going to destroy people. Unaharibu ndoa. You destroy marriage. Unafanya vitu vibaya. You do bad things. Bwana kaniambia jioni ya leo niliseme jambo hilo kwa wale watakao endelea kuwa sugu na hawatageuka. Mungu akaniambia hakika kuna mawili wataibishwa machoni pa wanadamu kisha watakufa moja baada ya mwingine ili kujulikana wanondoe ule uovu katikati ya nchi 
Uh, God give the authority to the man of God to speak this this evening to the people like this. Is there is only two ways. Either you stop or you're going to be ashamed or you're going to die and the people are going to know what you did. Is it a good thing or bad thing? <laughs> 